Alright, so here's the unbagging, it's not really unboxing. Well, it is ripped already, I opened it and realized that there isn't an, an unboxing for this, so I restarted it. Uh, it comes in this, it looks like a, uh, some kind of vacuum seal bag. It was not vacuum sealed, just sealed it well. It's a sticker that says, and all else fails, with the instructions, which I have ripped. It is very well protected. Lots and lots and lots and lots of bubble wrap. Well, that's very nice. I was not expecting that. It gave me some long threaded screws. Installation. It did come with a glue stick. Was not expecting that. Very nice touch. So here we have it. <clears throat> build tack surface on the front. There's a little part here you can get your thumb under, pull it off. It appears the back has a captain tape of some kind. There it is. I'm peeling a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. It is just spring steel. Maybe that's the lower the chance of rust. I did say do not let it get wet. This may just be some kind of tape that we're going to protect against that. Here's the plate itself. It has 11 magnets. <clears throat> Mag hole with the aforementioned cutout for lifting the plate. Made in the USA. Nice. Very nicely machined. So it looks like it has the studs already built in for what well, I assume are going to be the heating element. Very excited. Thanks for the mounting plate. Three bolts go. It does, uh, it does stick really well. That's not, like, I mean, I'm, I'm trying all my force to try to just slide this thing, and it's not sliding. Now, of course, if you, you know, push on the edge, you can straighten it up and even it out. It doesn't quite cover the entire build plate. Um, not too worried about that. I'm wondering if maybe it's a little oversized. So that's nine and one quarter. Nine inches. So uh, it is a little bit bigger build bite. Let's check this one. It's about something quarter here. And that's just about six. So it is a little slightly builder, large, larger surface. I'll have to check in the config and check the movement, see if maybe I will walk away with a larger build plate. That would be cool. Um, otherwise, it's just a little bit of extra space for the print to have some little cap around the edge. So here it is, unboxing and bagging, whatever you want to call it. It does take some force to lift it off. It's, I mean, I can pick the whole plate up with the lip. And it's, it's pretty heavy. It does have nice flex. Obviously flex is one way better than the other. I'm excited to swap it out. As comparison, let's take one of these and we'll put it on there. So this is the default stock pad that's already on there. So yeah, it's a little bit bigger.
Nice. I'm planning on getting another a spare plate so I can swap them out quickly. And maybe going with this material. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's see. One other thing we can check. We'll check the thickness. Looks like it's about seven and a quarter millimeters. Do the same here. Oh, it looks like it's actually a little bit thinner. It's hard to do with one hand holding my phone. So this is about eight and a half. So, it's about one and a quarter millimeter thinner. That was a pleasant surprise. I better have to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, if anything, I'm going to gain a little bit of build space. Nice. So, there you have it. Made in America. Mangold.